Hi guys, this is Vishal. In this video, I'm going to present Confluent Installation Guide. As a part of it, I'll give step-by-step -step instruction to download and install Confluent on your local machine for development purpose. Then I'll explain the ways to start different Confluent services like Kafka, Zookeeper, Schema Registry, etc. So let's get started. First step in installing Confluent on your local machine is to set up Windows subsystem for Linux 2. It is actually prerequisite because Windows operating system is not yet supported by Confluent at the moment. I have it already installed on my machine so I will use the same. Second step is to install Java. In order to check what Java version you are running on your Linux distribution, use this command java hyphen version. It will show you what version of Java you are running. For me, it is showing I have downloaded OpenJDK version 1.8. In your case, you may not have any version on your Linux distribution. For that purpose, you need to install Java. You can use the command given below and download the OpenJDK. Third step is to download Confluent Bundle. So there are two options to download it. First one, visit confluent.io portal, provide your email address and download zip or tar bundle and manually copy to your linux home directory or second one you can use curl command to directly download that bundle in zip or tar file whichever you prefer and it will directly be downloaded on your home directory of linux so use this command to download the confluent bundle so i have it already downloaded under my home directory in the form of zip so this is my confluent now next step is to extract this zip so unzip confluent so this is the command when i hit it it will extract the bundle and create a confluent directory with the same name now it has extracted successfully so if i just do ls minus lrt you can see there is a new directory created okay now what is next step to set an environment variables we basically need two environment variables one is a confluent home to refer the confluent install directory and second is a path to refer bean directory under that confluent home okay so let's set up first one so i'll just simply copy this command from here go to my linux distribution paste it there is a space between equal to and that complement operator so we have to remove that and enter so first environment variable has been set now second one export path equal to confluent home confluent home under that we need to refer bean directory colon dollar path okay this will set second environment variable so next step is to start confluent services we can use this command confluent local services starts to start all the services so i'm clear the page and i'm i will go to this confluent directory or if you go or you don't go doesn't matter we have already set the environment variable confluent local services start okay this command will start all the services one by one please note this command can only be used when you are running the confluent on single development node that means you are running on a single machine on on your laptop then you can use it it is not recommended to use it in a production environment okay so if i hit it it will try to start all the services okay it has failed for schema registry no need to worry if you experience such error you just use the same command again so it will resume starting the services where it was failed earlier okay so after multiple attempt finally we have all our services started now let's try to go to browser and open control center url okay so i'll open my browser and here this is control center url localhost colon 9021 slash if i hit it control center url should open okay. 
it has opened that means our confluent installation has been completed successfully and all the services are running